Hello my loves! Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all good. Today we're going to be doing another edition, I don't know if I call it a series, but like kind of a, a um, what am I looking for? <laughs> I guess a series of videos that I've done on my channel where I talk about all of the books on my TBR in a specific genre. I've done this previously with mystery and horror and today we're going to be doing it with all the thrillers on my TBR. I really like doing these videos because I find they're a good way for maybe those of you new to my channel or like you know my TBR is constantly changing so I think it's fun to check in with a specific genre. Probably a genre that I'm like kind of into at the moment. I feel like I've been reading a lot of thrillers at the moment so I feel like this is fun to just check in and like See what you got from our read. And I also think it's fun because I want you guys to tell me from this list what you've most enjoyed, what you want me to get to next, so I can kind of like mm, figure out, you know, what the pulse is, what people, what the people want. Give the people what they want. We have got four categories that we're going to be going through from my trusty notebook. We're going to be talking first through the bulk of the books, the books that I own physically that I can show you. Then we'll talk about the books that are wrapped up. As many of you know, a lot, most of my 2021 new releases that I own are wrapped up and then we'll talk about two that I have ebooks of. Something that I, I realized when doing this video is that I actually don't have that many thrillers on my TBR. I think I have 27 or 28. Oh my god that's 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 a lot. Once upon a time that number would have been much higher. Now my mystery is much higher. I think I have like 48 or something mysteries on my TBR. For a long time I found it hard to find mysteries or like popular mysteries or new release mysteries. Thrillers are more popular but I honestly feel like mysteries are starting to have a moment. Have I played a part in that? I like to believe so. <laughs> Delusion, you can't convince yourself. Whereas now I feel like I've found a lot of mysteries I'm interested in. So I have a lot less actual like thrillers, books I would really class as thrillers on my TBR. But anyway, let's just get into it and chat about all the books that I am excited to read. First, let's talk about these in, um, what's what I'm looking for? Unison? <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to find words today, guys. I have The Wife Between Us and The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. So this is their new release. It came out like last month or this month. I don't really know. This is probably now like one of the five oldest books on my TBR that I've owned the longest and haven't read. Mm, feel, free, mm, feel free to shame me. Like... <laughs> I have owned this since before I started my channel. I got it from a charity shop. This book has been through it and I still haven't read it. It's been like 300 pages. I've almost read this so many times. You guys will know from the beginning of my channel, there's been multiple times I have almost read this book and then yet I, I have not. <laughs> I have not. I should have kept my move. Claws. So this one is about like two wives, like an ex-wife and the new like replacement and like the tension between them. And this one is about this couple and the wife cheats and then they, they go to therapy together to try and fix it. And uh, lo and behold, <laughs> the therapist does not have a license and it's all a bit dodgy. I've never read from Greer Hendrix and Sarah Pekinen, the writing duo, but I've always had such good things. But I am starting to realise, I don't know if they're like, you know, the stereotypical like domestic thriller husband and wife situation is for me. <laughs> I just, I don't know if I like that. I find it a bit boring. Like someone's always cheating. You know, someone's always not who they say they are. And I'm just like, mm. I just, I don't think I find like husbands and wives very interesting. Boring, boring. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's all just a bit white and middle class. I don't know. I want to see rich people dying. I don't want to see middle class people cheating. I don't like the music. I'm entitled to my opinion. But I will hopefully give both these a go. I am very excited. And like they are one of the number one thriller authors, author writing duos, especially out there. Then we have actually one that I need to haul soon. I, I got this recently. I have The Whisper Man by Alex North. So I was not planning on getting this. <laughs> it was not really, you know, it kind of had its time a couple years ago and I wasn't really planning on getting it. But there's this shop in the UK called The Works and they do, when you go in there, you can get three paperbacks for five pounds. And I saw one I wanted and then I thought, well, and you would have done it too for a check. Let me get two others that I'm vaguely interested in. And it's hard because like in there it's all like, you know, old women romance kind of situation. But anyway, this is one of the ones that I picked up. And all I know about this is that it's like a father and son moved to this new area. There was a serial killer 15 years ago in this sleepy town. And now it seems when they move there, that the serial killer might be back. Mm. <laughs> it's all the drama, Mick. I just love it. Can we just say, the cover for this is fucking hideous. Fucking hideous. The US one, much prettier, much nicer. This, 
what were we thinking? There's like a butterfly with like skulls and nails. Like it's it's very bizarre. I don't really understand. But yeah, I mean like this was so popular. It's one of the most like popular thrillers that I have on this TBR, like most read. And I just thought, listen, let's give it a go. Like it's just a thriller. I got it for like, you know, the equivalent of like one pound something. <laughs> so I just thought I might as well pick it up. And it was it was popular in its day. Then we have one that I'm super actually these next two I'm super duper excited for this one in particular because it's, it's kind of half thriller half mystery we have reckless girls by rachel hawkins this is like a newish release i think it came out at the start of 2022 we have six friends who go to this deserted island for like a holiday and then one of them dies <laughs> and it's you know them trying to figure out who they can trust what's happening it is and then, then there were none retelling and i have had many issues with and then there were none retellings because i don't like and then there were none my one issue with and then there were none retellings is scheduled deaths I say it every time I don't like it I don't like knowing someone's gonna die like in the next chapter I want there to be an element of surprise to the deaths it just really it really irritates me like, I don't know why I've heard really good things about the writing in this one I've heard it's like quite fun quite campy quite ridiculous and it's like halfway between a thriller and a mystery I, I think I've categorized it as both on my TBR because it's like halfway between both and listen rich stupid people about to die sign me up <laughs> And then we have another book of the month, one that I've received, and that is A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. This one I'm also super excited for. It's about this girl who many years ago, there was a serial killer in her town and her father confessed, essentially. And then years and years later in the present day, guess what? The killings are starting again. There's a theme here. There's a, <laughs> there's a theme. Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I ask you. Is it a coincidence? And the kind of question is, is it a copycat killer or was the correct killer never brought to justice? This has already been like optioned, before it even came out, it was optioned to be adapted into like a film or TV show, I think with like Emma Stone's company or some shit. And again, I've just heard really good things about this, especially for a debut. I think it's gonna be like a fun, eerie, small town thriller. And yeah, I'm really, really excited for this one. Then we have one of the most bizarre, <laughs> bizarre like shaped books I've ever owned I don't know if it's just a mass market paperback and we don't really have them in the UK we have the escape room by Megan Golding let me just like show you like look at it in comparison to the size of a normal paperback like what why is it so thin girly you don't need to be that thin <laughs> so the night swim by Megan Golding I read last year I think <laughs> yes the years all black and I did really really enjoy it so this is another book by Megan Golding I knew I kind of wanted to continue on reading this author it's about these colleagues trapped in this escape room and like trying to survive I, like they go there thinking it's a game and then it's like oh shit we're about to die <laughs> they're immoral people they're immoral people they've done some shady shit in their business lives and it's them kind of like facing the music for that and yeah I just really really loved Megan Golden's writing when I read The Night Swim I think she had like amazing prose and like really really fun writing so yeah super excited to read this even though it is a strange like it's so hard to hold the book what is going on here why what are the choices behind this anyway then one that I'm actually gonna be reading soon there's sometime this month hopefully is The Burning Girls by CJ Tudor this is an arc I have of it I really like The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor so I'm very excited to get to this one this one is like this again this quaint English town with like a dark past baby it's got a dark past people have been dying left right and center I can get real dark but we all know and actually I don't think everyone knows the extent of my darkness. Like, I can get dark. And I think it's a father and daughter move there, I'm pretty sure. And shit starts with her in. And I just, yeah, I don't know. I feel like CJ Tudor, again, is a great writer, great plotter, great atmosphere, and, like, brings something a little bit different to thrillers. So, yeah. Oh, then we have, again, this is, like, halfway between a mystery and a thriller. Again, I would probably, there's not many I would categorize as both, but this is one that's, like, halfway between two. Sleep by CJ Tudor. It's, like, another isolated, is this a thriller? <laughs> I think it is. It's like halfway between the two. It's again like set in this remote hotel in kind of situation. There's like seven guests and then a murder happens. <laughs> And I've just, again, heard really good things about this. Um, Mara from Books Like Woe really enjoyed it. That's why I picked it up. I got this for three pound. Mm. I, oh, I've still got my receipt. Let me, oh, I got a bookmark. Excuse me, I didn't know you were in there. I'm very intrigued. I'm super excited for this. I've never read anything from CL Taylor. And listen, Lucy, Fo Lucy Foley blurbs it. So. <laughs> 
Okay, then we just quickly have three books that I got from a box of stories. Why did I forget the name then? Um, that I got from a box of stories and they are basically like this company that sends you some books that would otherwise have been destroyed and I got these in the thriller like box I asked specifically for. We have one where it's like sisters going to stay at their aunt's house and like the woods start closing in on them. It's very mysterious. We have one about a woman who dies and um, leaves behind her child and her friend gets a letter written before she died and it's something about like is it possible to love your child too much i've never really read anything about like mums and kids so i'm very intrigued about that and then this one is about a lawyer defending an 11 year old boy who's been accused of killing a younger boy so i am excited for all of these but i've never really heard anything about them they're not super popular i think the guilty one is more red than the other ones but i still want to get to these at some point because they do all intrigue me in their premises premise premises that's not the right word premises premier in their synopses <laughs> you bitches are stupid and then the last one I can show you physically is Pine by Francine Toon. This was um, like the thriller of the month from uh, Waterstones one month, so that's why I got it. I'm very excited for this one. Again, it's like, all isolation. We have a daughter and her father who live alone in the Highlands. A woman stumbles on the road on Halloween night. Niall drives her back to their house in the morning she's gone. And it's like this tight-knit community and they start tearing each other apart. And, they, and then a teenager goes missing and it's like, oh shit. <laughs> I have heard mixed things about this. I think it's like horror-y thriller, like halfway between the two. But I do like nature-y gothic thrillers, like nature-focused gothic thrillers. So that's particularly why I'm so excited for this. Before we get into the books that I can't show you, I actually just realized I finished filming the video and I realized there was a couple that I didn't talk to you about because they were on my book cart. First, we have Never Saw Me Coming by Vera Kurian. So this one is about this university student who looks like an ordinary university student, but she's actually a highly intelligent scientist psychopath out for revenge. So I think what happens is she's part of this secret clinical study with the university psychology department kind of monitoring and watching people who are psychopaths. But what happens is I think they start dying. Yeah, a string of murders and they all seem to be linked somehow to that investigation. She's kind of being preyed upon by this mysterious murder, but she's also out to get revenge. She also wants to like, I think, kill people herself. She's like, I could I could take a bit of that. I could have a bit of that. <laughs> so I'm very excited for this one. I've heard it's like very well written and very strange. Then we have one of the most popular thrillers I feel like recently, which is In My Dreams I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. It's very the secret history kind of vibes. We have six friends, one college reunion, one unsolved murder. So it was a murder in their friendship group and they're coming back to the first college reunion and they're, I think, trying, the book is trying to figure out who actually committed the murder. I think like one of the friends is like really determined to the killer and he just like keeps accusing everyone <laughs> like you did it you did it you did it and like not being right anytime but this is like one of the most popular thrillers that has come out recently i feel like it's had really really great reviews so i cannot wait to get to this it's like one of the books i want to read most asap and then we have a book i actually bought really recently it's just come out it's called the long weekend by julie mcmillan this is about a group of friends three women arriving for this isolated <laughs> getaway you know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. Their husbands haven't arrived yet, but they arrived to the location early. When they get there, there's a note that says, by the time you read this, I'll have killed one of your husbands. They don't have any phone signal. They don't have any Wi-Fi. It sounds very, very exciting. This is like a kind of traditional thriller. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's going to be just really fun, really good at what it's doing. And that's why I, I had to get it. I had to get it. I was very excited. I, I, listen, I might not like husbands and wives, but I do like multiple husbands and wives on a holiday together. That gets me excited. <laughs> okay, then let's just talk about quickly all the other ones. So the ones that I have wrapped up, we have The Collective. I cannot remember any of the authors for this, so you will see them on your screen. The Collective was another one I got from Book of the Month. This is about mothers who, I think all their, their kids have been killed. Oh my God, not me forgetting the synopsis. <laughs> I think their kids have been murdered and they're like getting revenge, like mothers getting revenge. The, the cover is all of them like walking into the night and it's like very dramatic so I'm very excited for that one. We have The Neighbor's Secret which was another one I definitely should have looked up the synopsis for because I can't remember. The level of unprofessionalism 
far too much. We have the dinner guest. This is another one I'm super excited for. Another one I bought because it was a thriller of the month by Wall of Stones. They get me. They do get me. They do tempt me. This is about like a husband and wife and a, a couple friends having dinner at their house and one of them ends up murdered. I think the wife is found with a knife in her hand. It's like who killed who? What happened at the dinner party? This actually, the guy who wrote this used to run Waterstones Twitter and like social media. <laughs> I don't know why I always remember that, but that's like the one thing I know about the author. <laughs> we have The Girl in the Walls, which is still one of the thrillers I want to get to most. I'm really hoping I unwrap it. Um, it's based about this family moving to this house, but it seems there's a girl living in the walls of the house. I'm not sure if she's more like ghost-like or that there's actually like this young girl living in the walls of the house and like trying to survive, but I love the addition of it that I have. I pre-ordered this last year and I still <laughs> I haven't read it. And then we have Other People's Clothes by Kala Henkel, which is kind of like set in the noughties. It's very like, like Britney era. And we have these two friends who start like holding, they live with this other woman. They live at her house, like renting. And they start like throwing parties, but then they think the woman's obsessed with them and like is out to get them. And it sounds very intriguing. So I'm very excited to read that one. Two ebooks that I have finally are Beneath Devil's Bridge. This one, they, both of these books I got as ebooks were when I had Amazon Prime and you can get Amazon First Read, you can get a free ebook every month. So yeah, Beneath Devil's Bridge is a podcast one! Yes and yes, yes and yes, woohoo! So it's like this podcaster investigating this old case which was supposedly solved but now the murderer does an interview with her and he's claiming, mm -mm, I didn't do that! <laughs> and the podcaster is trying to get in contact with the old lead detective on the case. At first she's like, mm -mm, I'm not engaging with this. But then the podcast blows up and it's mysterious and I'm like, oh my god, who killed who? Like, what is happening? And very exciting. And the last one, which I love the cover for, is Lies We Bury. This is about this girl who when she was like eight escaped this basement that she'd been trapped in her whole life um, and now she's a photographer and she gets invited to work on this project of these murders that are happening and when she goes to the site of one of them it is literally the same setting that she was in as a child the same toys the same you know everything on the, the same setting and there's a note left for her at the scene of the crime. I'm very excited for this I absolutely love the cover it seems very eerie very dark like a real dark messed up thriller so i'm very excited to read this one as well so that is all of the thrillers on my tbr let me know which of these you have read if you've enjoyed them that you're most excited to get to yourself i would really really love to know if you got into the end of the video comment a shocked face emoji down below thank you as always for watching my videos i've got some super exciting stuff coming within the next couple months couple weeks um i, I have like months plan in advance but i have some super exciting stuff coming and hopefully i should be back now to uploading three times a week every week I I feel like I've got my shit together again. So you will see me three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye!